Ventoy is an open source tool to create bootable USB drive for ISO, WIM, IAMG, VHD, X, EFI files. With Ventoy, you don't need to format the disk over and over. This means you can have Windows, Linux, OpenBSD, and other operating systems ready to boot from a single device. You can install Ventoy to USB drive, removable HD, SD card, SAI HDD, SSD, and VME. As for the drive capacity, it will vary on how many ISO you want to put it in. I would suggest 8 gigabytes or more. The Ventoy app can be used on both Windows and Linux systems. I will provide on the description box for the GitHub page for you to download it. I will demonstrate this on a Windows computer. Insert your USB flash drive and let's run the Ventoy program after you extracted the zipped file of it. Press Windows R and run MS Info 32. Look for the BIOS mode on that window. We will match the BIOS mode of your computer to the Ventoy app. If you have UEFI, then it's GPT. If legacy, it's MBR. This part is crucial. Every computer has different BIOS. If your computer has legacy or MBR BIOS, and you formatted the Ventoy USB to UEFI or GPT, you will not be able to boot from the Ventoy USB. Make sure that you match the partition scheme of your Ventoy to your target machine. If you have legacy BIOS computer, then set the partition scheme of Ventoy to MBR respectively. Close that system information window and going back to Ventoy. Go to Option. Partition style will be GPT since I have UEFI. Your inserted USB is automatically detected from here. Now click the Install button. Make sure you made a backup of your USB. This will now install Ventoy on your flash drive. Close Ventoy. Copy the Windows 10 portable ISO into your Ventoy USB flash drive. Now from here, all you have to do is to copy any ISO, WIM, IMG, VHD of your choice. For you to boot into his Ventoy USB, you will need to know how to access the BIOS settings of your target computer. You can do a quick Google search, like the brand of your computer and BIOS key. Typically it's F1, F2, Delete, or Enter. On the BIOS settings, we will set the secure boot to disabled and boot priority to the USB flash drive. While restarting, I will rapidly press F2 for the BIOS settings. For this laptop, I will just set the secure boot to disable and set the USB flash drive to first boot priority. Pressing F10 to save the changes and rebooting the laptop, you will now be greeted with the Ventoy boot screen. All of your copied ISO will be listed here. You can select your desired ISO by pressing the arrow keys on your keyboard, then pressing enter twice to boot into it. Then your selected ISO will now load, and that concludes the tutorial from here. You can also change the theme of your Ventoy, install Windows 10 or 11, install Linux, and install macOS or Hackintosh on your computer. I will link them all in the description box. That's it for now. See you on the next one.